Hello and welcome back to the next YAWL tutorial. Today we will talk about capabilities. So from the resource perspective, we have mostly used roles so far and this is in practice, at least from our perspective, the most frequent case. But YAWL has more than that. YAWL has not only roles, but also capabilities, positions and org groups. And you can see that here in the chart behind me, how this is built up. This chart comes from the YAWL book, by the way. Today we will use a simple workflow dealing with insurance claims that demonstrates the use of capabilities. So let's go to the computer. Okay, here we are with four windows open. On the left on top we have the YAWL specification in the YAWL editor open. You can get this from the supplementary material. This is the .yaw file. Um, on the top bottom we have the YAWL administrator logged in. And on the right hand side on top we have uh, Jean Calmont, one of the users in this scenario. And on the bottom we have Ferdinand Magellan. Um, logged in. So um, in order to get here you first need to log in as an administrator and then upload the YBKP file here also from the supplementary material in the starts folder and um, then um, when we go through the org data here um, we first see the roles so there's only one role called claims and this role has three participants Jean Calmont, Ferdinand Magellan and Albert Schweitzer and they are all here in this scenario and two of them are logged in in the windows on the right hand side. You can also see that the claims role here in the editor is um, here active in all of the tasks of this workflow specification. Uh, next we go to the capabilities and this is the topic of this tutorial and we have three capabilities health insurance, life insurance and travel insurance and we have different users with these capabilities so we have Albert Schweitzer for health insurance, Jean Calmont for life insurance and we have two participants Ferdinand Magellan and Albert Schweitzer for travel insurance. So that is the, the setup here and um, now what we will do is we will just edit this workflow here to have all of these capabilities in here. So the workflow goes like this. We assess the claim, categorize the claim and then we have three different branches depending on whether it is categorized as a health, life or travel topic here and if we go to the task calculate payment account and we go to the resourcing here um, we have already the claims role here uh, and what we want to do now is we want to add the capability health insurance so we select it here We have to double click it and then it is here. Um, next we go to calculate payment account for the live branch here and we go to resourcing and we select the capability life insurance here. Note that you can also um, have an AND or an or operator here for the capability so you can also say that you want two or more capabilities for a certain task and the third one is the travel task here so again we go to travel insurance I have to double click it Okay, 
Now that we have that, we can upload the specification to the YAWL engine. So we have a new case with case ID 1 now. And if we go here to the admin work list, we can see that we have assess claim offered to all our three participants. So um, I will take this participant here and go to the work list. We have to refresh it here. And then we have assess claim. So we are on the first task and so we will work on that one. And then we have um, someone with a claim and we will not reject this claim. So we say complete here. And if we refresh the admin queue, we can now see that categorized claim is offered to three participants. So um, we can have any of these participants can do that. So we can take this um, Magellan user, for example, And here we have to select the category and so we will select the travel category here. Press complete. And now the result is, we refresh here, we have calculate payment amount offered to the Magellan user. And if we update on top, we have an empty list. So this is only offered to um, the users who have the capability travel and if we look here in the admin queue we have two participants and this is Ferdinand Magellan and Albert Schweitzer this is what we expected and so um, if we go here and open that we can now put in the payment amount and then we can accept that and make payment to customer complete. So capabilities are straightforward to define. Just watch out that the distribution set doesn't become empty when you define too many constraints. Because in that case, the administrator will have to distribute the work item manually. It's a little unfortunate that capabilities cannot be defined via variables, as it is the case for participants or roles. That would be a feature I would like to see in the future in YAWL. The next topic are positions, so stay tuned.